are social beings, and our interactions with one another are the driving force behind our existence. But did you know that one in 100 children worldwide and one in 87 children in Qatar have a condition called autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, due to which they have difficulties in social communication and interaction. But not just that, they may also have difficulty in learning, increased anxiety, eating and sleeping problems, and changes in their brain area. This is why it's called a spectrum disorder, because no two cases will have the same symptoms. And worst of all, there isn't really a cure for these children. Now, when you go to the doctor, they may say that the cause is genetic. But what does that really mean? Well, you know, our DNA is composed of genes, and they literally regulate every aspect of our being. And whenever there is a change or a mutation in the genes, it manifests as a disease. Several ASD patients have been identified who have increased or decreased levels of certain genes. One such gene is called single-stranded DNA binding protein, or SSDP3. And it's not just interesting because my initials are in it, but because it has never been studied in the context of ASD. Now, we can't exactly do experiments on humans, so we decided to use the proof that to study the role of this gene in ASD. Believe it or not, fruit flies are extremely powerful for conducting such kind of research because one, 75% of the genes that cause diseases in humans are also found in the fruit flies. Two, their DNA can easily be mutated. And three, complex human-like behaviors can be studied in the flies. Interestingly, the human SSDP3 gene is 93% similar to the gene in the fruit fly called SSDP. So, we altered the levels of SSDP in the flies and studied its effect on them. We found that both increasing or decreasing the levels of SSDP is problematic. These flies had changes in their brain size, just like the humans, and they had a decrease in a particular type of cells which support and protect the nerve cells of our brain. And they also had an increase in a process called oxidative stress, which if, if it increases, it damages our cells and the DNA. Lastly, these flies showed all kinds of autism-associated behavioral effects, such as decreased social interaction, increased anxiety, defective learning, and decreased eating. Now, this is amazing because using our autistic flies, we can gain further insight into what causes the disease and develop evidence-based therapies to reverse the symptoms and truly transform lives. Thank you.